Okay guys, we're in the Maserati Gracale now, and I want to show you guys around some of the electronical interfaces in the interior, because there's a lot of new technology in here, and it's really advanced, and there's a lot of new stuff going on, especially for Maserati as a brand, as everything is now unique and new to this vehicle, as well as upcoming new Maserati. So I think let's start off with your digital gauge cluster up here. So you can see you now have a full digital gauge cluster up there, really nice. And of course the controls are gonna be found on the steering wheels over here. So some of the first off the back controls you're gonna find are the drive mode selector, which is gonna be on the steering wheel right here. This really beautiful dial, illuminated metal, and you can simply just turn it. You can go from sport, GT, and comfort modes, and different Gorkales will have different modes. And there's also an adaptive suspension button on higher end Gorkale trims. And once you do that, you'll see that the um, digital gauges will kind of transform a little bit and give you a different view. And it'll also change in the um, infotainment system as well over there. Now, this is just a few of the displays you're actually gonna find in the um, center screen over here, your infotainment screen, really beautiful high resolution display. And you're able to kind of customize it to your liking from these buttons on your steering wheel over here. So we're gonna press this little button that kind of looks like the gate cluster right here. I'm able to kind of change the view of what we're looking at in this little left screen over here and cycle through the three little menus. And then once you press this button here, you're gonna be able to go into some more menus as well. And quick actions like that. Now these bigger buttons are gonna be able to kind of change the center information over here, which is really nice. You can kind of see more information as well. So that's really cool. Um, you're also able to kind of change up this entire display as well. And go through the settings. This is really nice. Now, since this is a um, basic recall, you're not gonna have all the options, but you are still able to kind of change the clusters right here. So to kind of access that, you're gonna go through this button right here, go to your cluster layout and change the cluster settings. And you can get a few different displays. So you have this one called classic. They can go to evolved, which looks like this. And of course you can always bring back the map in the center screen if you want it there as well, which is really nice. So you have your navigation and you can kind of see it's a more of a larger display. You can go to Sport, GT, and Comfort still. You can see the different displays you can get in that. Really cool. Let's go to the other display, Cluster Layout. We'll go to Relaxed. This is going to take up the entire screen for you. So you have this massive, massive display over here. And you can, like I said, you can still transfer through Sport, GT, Classic, except this one's going to always have this big navigation screen right in the center. Or you can kind of have one giant speedometer, trip computer, and that stuff. So this is the more calmer less information display but i like to have the gauges so i'm going to go back to cluster layout i evolved is honestly my favorite one i'll keep it at that so i think it looks cool like this now those are most of your controls and now you also have your stop start button right here you have voice control um audio controls over there which is really nice on your steering wheel you also have your beautiful aluminum paddle shifters which are beautifully cold to the touch really nice for your um eight speed gearbox you also have um your wiper controls over here and your um turn signal and headlight controls on the side. The door panels on the Gricali are really beautiful, actually. Um, typical window controls and stuff, we don't need to get into that. And you have an electronic door handle release in the interior as well, which is interesting. And you have an emergency release down here if you want it to do manually. Now, the center console is where we get a lot of technology. As you can see, there are no buttons, no physical buttons anywhere. It's all um, digital controls. And there's a lot of stuff going on. So let's focus on this lower screen first before we get to the top. Here is where you're gonna find your climate controls, seat controls, ambient lighting, and a lot of um, interior controls. So here you can see you have your light controls right here for your headlights. This is really interesting. And there's a really nice tactile feedback. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Really nice clicking sound. I think that's actually really cool. Um, you also have your seating controls. So your uh, memory seats right there. Interior ambient lighting. Not the most amount of options, but you do have it. You can change your brightness levels, which is really nice. Everything's really quick and seamless. No lag at all. You also have your volume controls and mute buttons right here. Really cool. Um, and everything works. There's no kind of issues. So I haven't had any issues with this at all either. Your um, climate controls, you can see right here, you have heated and ventilated seats as well as a heated steering wheel. Um, and your dual zone climate control up front, air refresh, and all your um, 
kind of controls you would expect in a vehicle, in this luxury vehicle, of course. Traction control, hill descent control, engine start stop options, um, parking sensors, and all that stuff is gonna be located down here as well. Now, I do wanna point really quickly to this clock function. So as you can see right here, we have Maserati's digital clock now, which is this beautiful um, display right here, and it's metal, neural metal finish lining it. This actually is a dynamic um, movement. So when you press the clock function down here, you'll see your different options for your clock. So right now we have an encompass mode, you can see, but what, once I can pop into clock, you'll see it goes to there. You can do a classic clock, a sport clock, and a des design clock, which is a little more of a modern function. Like I said, the compass before, this, it's really cool like, how it rotates while you're driving. You also have, you can have a brake and power pedal. So if you're like accelerating, it'll show power versus your braking power. And you'll also have a G-Force meter if you want to be a little more aggressive, but I personally like the sport clock. It looks really cool, as well as the compass is my favorite. Those are some really cool options you can do there. And of course, as you can see in the middle, you have your park reverse, neutral, and drive and manual modes right there. And then you get over to the main infotainment system right here. So this is where you're gonna have all your um, main controls and everything is really quick, crisp and clean. I love it, how the system looks and feels. Um, here's your main display right here. You kind of move these tiles around, kind of customize them to your liking with this widget style. As you can see, you have Amazon Alexa built in, your temperature up here, notifications if you wanna see those, as well as some Maserati connected services and your driver um, modes right there. Your clock, you kind of like this little scrolling down and it's kind of like this Android based system. So there might be a little bit of familiarity in the um, setup. And as, you can, as you can see, there's these little holes right there. You can kind of hold these down and drag them to put them into these different spots. So then you can have this as a quick access for example, your 360 camera and see your different views right there, which is really cool. You can always exit that and go home. And as you can see, like I said, everything's really, really quick media. Obviously, you're going to have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you have Sirius XM, your different sources of stuff over here, Bluetooth, AM radio, still have audio settings. And this one has the Sonus Faber um, audio system, as you can see, the speakers, really beautiful metal speaker grills right here. It's actually like really sharply cut metal, it's not like a cheese grater, but it's really nice to look at. Um, you can change all the different settings for that as well through this, which is nice. Navigation settings, which is actually a really nice navigation system, pretty clear. You can see it goes all the way in, very quick to zoom, very quick reacting actually, which I really like. Um, I have more controls for that built into the system. Phone controls, and then you have your vehicle settings. And this just kind of gets into this endless menu of a whole bunch of stuff. So in your My Car settings, you can kind of see all the traditional like um, tire pressure, oil level, all that stuff. You also have your drive mode explorer right here. So then basically in the drive mode explorer, you're gonna be able to see all the different stuff happening with your different drive modes. So I'm popping into GT, Comfort, and sport you'll see that pop up but in the drive mode explorer you're going to get a little bit more of a view happening in the infotainment system i don't know why it's not working oh there we go it's not pressing hard enough so you can see what's happening all the different ones so in sport you can see it's gonna be a little stiffer more responsive gt you're gonna have um it's more of a mid-level and you have your comfort trim as well and you get a really cool animation for each of those little drive mode explorers as well up here, you can see electric vehicles. So all Gorkales are gonna have a 48 volt mild hybrid system. So essentially that's gonna help with auto stop start and um, a few other features, accessory features and some of the higher end um, suspension components and air suspension is gonna help run off that system. You can see the batteries are gonna be stored in the back. This is just gonna really just show the status of that system and um, how it's, it's like running while you're driving. So you don't really need to be opening on the screen. It's not gonna show you that much information, it's just kind of like where the power is flowing. Performance-wise, you can see it's cool technical gauges right here, which is, I think is really cool. You can see when you kind of rev it up, these gauges move around. Consumption history. I love the torque management screen. So since this has all-wheel drive, it's gonna show you where the power is being distributed. Normally it'll be rear-wheel drive biased actually, which is really cool. Drag race mode. So you can actually um, time your zero to 60s, quarter mile times, <laughs> all into the system, which is really cool. You can reset them as well. And it'll give you a nice, really cool map um, of how all those work. Accessory gauges, so oil temp, transmission temp, a 12 volt battery as well. And that's pretty much it for your performance gauges. You have some vehicle controls and additional settings, which, you know, obviously can go endless with all the different settings in there. And as this is an app based system, you do have an app drawer right here. You can see your favorite apps, so you like electric vehicle apps, they'll take you to the electric vehicle screen. 
this is oh now it's working so you can kind of see that um full power flow from all the systems well it was working at least and performance pages let's go back to electric vehicle there you go you can see the power flowing right there for the 48 volt battery system as well as the engine that's a really cool screen i think that's pretty cool over here device manager android auto and all that stuff built into the screen so that's a really cool over there and those are just your favorites so then you can go to the, all the apps and this is where you can see all the stuff you have in the entertainment system which is really cool there's even a sonos favorite built-in audio system app <clears throat> which is really cool kind of gives you some tailored um audio songs and some settings so yeah pretty nice infotainment system actually it's a huge step up from what they had before i think um and that's pretty much with all the technology in the interior over here you do have usb ports and a regular usb port over there really nice wood over here open port wood over here you have another cigarette outlet and your um this is your pad for your key fob <coughs> glove box yeah that's pretty much it guys I think it's a really cool interior. Up here, we have some more technology and stuff. Of course, you have your interior lighting right there. You have your full panoramic roof controls, a full interior lighting button. And that's pretty much it. Let's see the full roof over there. But yeah, that's the interior of the Maserati Gorkali and all the technology you're gonna be getting in here. Let me know if you guys have any questions and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming real soon.